it's apparent that uh, Roy Romero and Isaac Cruz finalised the deal for a March 30th clash. <laughs> That's what you get, Ryan Garcia, you ducking piece of shit. <laughs> this is what you get. You know, you have some fucking numbskull saying, it's not a dog, it's not a dog, you didn't duck them in Haiti, you didn't duck them in Haiti. You already ducked in, um, back in 2021, when he was mandatory, or at least in position to be mandatory for Devin Haney's belt. And you call out Devin Haney, constantly call, him, call out Devin Haney. And then what do you say afterwards? Oh, I'm not interested in Devin Haney. You don't sell enough tickets. He can't punch. But yet you're not getting in the ring with him. The fuck? You know, and now, here recently, he's called out Devin Haney, said he's going to fight, he's going to make the best fight he's having in boxing, only for him to be like, oh, actually, no, I'm not going to fight Devin Haney. Instead, I'm going to fight Roly fucking Romero. And then those two are negotiating, you know, and then man ended up getting done over by Roly Rotardo of all people. <laughs> <laughs> He was taking it for a spin. How do you, how do you get, how do you get outsmarted by Roly of all people? <laughs> That's what you get, fucking idiot. That's what you get. So now Roly's fine, uh, Pitbull Grues. <laughs> but yeah, people saying it's not a thought because you know he could go fight Roly, you know, and um, you know, he can get a belt for Roly, which is a winnable fight, and then he can go fight Devin Haney for big money, blah blah blah. All right, first of all, now he's not fighting Roly, so that just fucking went under. <laughs> now your argument doesn't make any sense. And two, even if he wants to fight Roly, what's to say Devin Haney wouldn't lose his belt? Because we all heard this before. Oh, it's not darking because the fighter can do this and then down the line he can fight this guy. Well, how the fuck do you know that this fighter is even going to be in the game by now? Boxing is an unpredictable sport. How do you know they're still going to have their titles? How do you know they're still going to... How do you know they're not going to take close in that time frame? You don't know, which is why the, you should always, you know, make the fights whenever it's possible. Take the fights when it's there. Don't do all this extra bullshit and then think and assume that... um. Um, that the same fight's going to be available down the line. How do you know that? The boxing landscape is always fucking changing. You know, it wasn't that long ago where Joe Joyce was in position uh, to be mandatory for um, Alexander Usyk's titles. And now look at him. And compare that to Joseph Parker now, who's in a better position than Joe Joyce's. And Joe Joyce beat Joseph Parker. This is how quickly the boxing landscape can change. Just within a year, people. Just within a year. You know, so... Uh, people saying it's not a duck. It's a duck. It's a duck. I don't know. I don't know why these people are trying to tell me that it's not that. How do you call out someone and then go ahead and say you're gonna fight someone else? How the hell is that not a duck? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. You know. So I'm go. I'm so glad that you got done over by Roly and now Ryan Garcia is upset. Why are you getting upset for pussy? What are you getting upset for? You put yourself in this position. You're clearly not serious about this shit. Just shut the fuck up and then just do your do what you need to do. God, the guy's annoying. But um, as far as the fight goes, Roly and Pitbull Grues, I'd expect Pitbull Grues to win the fight. Um, I expect to go the distance. I don't think Pitbull Grues is knocking Roly out because Pitbull Grues doesn't really knock out anyone unless they're like undersized. You know, but when he fight, fights like a career lightweight, all of a sudden he can't score a knockout. I'm pretty sure what's the guy, because he fought some guy in his last fight, what's his name, Giovanni Cabrera? I think it was on a Canelo and Charlie Undercard. He could knock him out. You know, but he was able to knock out Edward, Eduardo Ramirez, who's like a featherweight, I believe. And, you know, um, Yoriyoko Scambo is known for being chinny anyways, and he's an undersized lightweight, has been has been for years. You know, he couldn't even knock out Fran Francisco Vargas, who was washed up at that point. You know, so I think he's at Cruz's powers overrated. Um, but I think he will win. He does have the style to um, to beat Roy because Roy's not that fucking good anyways. You know, uh, I don't think anyone's getting knocked down this fight. It should be should be an okay scrap, really. But you know, Isaac Cruz should should win it. This is a one forty, right? For the like a proper one, not a catchweight, not some catchweight bullshit, but an actual one forty pound title fight, right? You know, like the fact that this guy Roly is world champion is insane. Like, I don't understand. There's guys like Jerry Corey, Only Shavers, Jimmy Young. Name all these fires, good fires that like, no one titles, titles, and then you have fucking Roly. 
<laughs> what is the matter with the sport? <laughs> what the hell is the matter? You know, but yeah. That's all I gotta say. Ryan Garcia got done over. <laughs> he fucking deserves it. So first, I'm out. Peace.